Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Tuesday the 21st, and today was a lovely day outside, uh, aside from being really hot, uh, most of the day was gorgeous, it was absolutely beautiful. Um, got up, got a handful of things done, um, got to the courthouse, got plates for my bike, took care of that, um, had some other running to go do, went looking around, found some boxes, um, unfortunately nowhere near enough boxes, I Christ Almighty, it's taking so many boxes, I had no idea that much shit. But I got the van um, hooked up to the trailer, got the one trailer moved around where it needed to be. The stock trailer is now moved. Um, I got the motor strike cycle, the street bike loaded up in the trailer. Uh, I've got like shot vac, I've got my generator in there, I've got power washer, I've got all kinds of that general um, stuff, a little barbecue grill, a lot of that outdoor stuff. I took a lot of my um, little bit of tools I have left, I don't have much left, but I took a lot of that stuff that was somewhat maybe hopefully savable that I don't think it is, but I'm going to try and save some of it. Um, just a bunch of that junk's in there. Everything that's in there can get wet. I prefer it not to, but um, who knows? We'll see. So definitely I got other stuff to put in there still. I got a ton of stuff to put in there. I'm going to put a recliner in there still. Um, we got to decide if I'm taking this mattress or not. I don't know if I am or not. Probably won't take it this trip, I don't think. Probably take it next trip because next trip, um, the other van down will not have a bed in it. This van has a bed in it already. So i uh, got like a um, just a handful of stuff in there. Um, got it all set up. I've got a bunch of stuff left here at the house. We'll see what I can fit inside that cannot get wet, like DVDs and books and that kind of stuff that cannot take. I can't take the chance of getting wet. So we'll see what all I can get fit in the van. Um, the next load, will, next van will have a lot more space because this futon takes up a lot. Like, oh, it's like a weird space there. So I there's a possibility I might get a wild hair at my butt, and if it gets really um, Fill it or spill it too quickly. Um, I'm gonna look at the schedule. It looks like it's supposed to rain for like, I don't know, the next five days. It's a really good chance of rain next five days through there. So I've got to make it where it can get wet. So I might just pack everything up in the van, like just stack it up like it's a cargo van and just sleep in the front seat and say to hell with it and not even sleep on the futon and just say to hell with it and just kind of, I don't know, be a little more miserable on the trip but get my stuff down there faster. So I'll have to see how that goes. So um, ended up, I had a um, old friend that uh, found out I was moving and um, they wanted to talk so we ended up hanging out today for a little while and stuff and I don't know it went pretty well uh, it's just one of those things where you know we didn't talk much for quite a while and then like found out I'm leaving they act like it's a big deal and I'm like fuck you ain't been in my life much that much lately anyway so what the hell you know I understand the whole concept and I think I realized a lot more it was you know he was like just like I'm never getting out of this town and you are and that kind of thing it was a little bit in that process that there was I don't know it was just weird because like I said I haven't um I can't remember the last time we spent any time together, a couple years or better, probably almost two years like that. So we spent any real time together. And now all of a sudden it's like, oh, you're leaving kind of thing. It was, I don't know. It was just kind of, I don't know. It was what it is, but it was definitely um, kind of, I don't know. I had a good time talking to him and stuff. It wasn't really weird or nothing. It was just kind of, kind of had that weird, sad feel over it that was just kind of strange. But oh well, it happens. Um, they, have my damn phone number, but we'll see how that goes because they haven't, you know, haven't. I don't remember getting a call from them in almost two years, and then now they're acting like they're missing out on something. It's kind of weird. So, but yeah, um, got a bunch of stuff done. Like I said I got the van loaded up, got everything out of the house, I, the empty house, the rental house, I guess you want to call it, my storage house. I got everything out of there. I haven't taken on this trip, so that's a good thing. Um, now I have left to do is get the stuff out of the main house, which, like I said, I've got a bunch of boxes stacked up, but that stuff cannot get wet. So it's going to go in. Um, Absolute latest, depending on the weather, it looks like I might try throwing it in the trailer and just risk it. If not, it's all going to go in the front of the um, van, and that's going to kind of suck. So, I also found I lost my damn uh, MacBook or my Mac, um, my iMac, my giant uh, Mac, iMac box. Apparently, I don't know how my box to ship it in, so that kind of sucks. Um, I swore I had that, so I've got to figure out a way of packing that up so I can get it down there safely. That's going to be a big, big deal. I do not want to destroy my iMac, that will definitely not be a good day. I will be very, very sad about that, but. Other than that, um, it was a pretty good day. Then it started raining like out of nowhere. It was like just pouring down rain, hailing, and all kinds of gross. So I went ahead and actually pulled the um, the trailer underneath the carport to kind of give it a little bit of a um, shelter. We'll see if it helps or not. So other than that, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I'm not editing that out. I'm just way damn lazy to redo this again. So I am exhausted. Um, I think tomorrow I'm heading up to Des Moines. 
We got some shopping to do. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be like 95, heat index like 106 or some shit. That's just disgusting. So I might go buy myself a dirt bike, might go buy myself a recumbent pedal bike, and then I gotta buy a $600 mower for my mom. She wants a $600 mower. So I go pick that up also. So definitely, um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun day tomorrow. And then I gotta decide when I'm heading off to Florida again. I gotta get the last couple minutes things packed up. And then a lot of the stuff I can get next trip. It's not that big a deal. It's one of the weird things about um, the way I'm moving. I don't, I'm not having to take it all at once. I still own the property kind of thing. So definitely, I would hang it probably been easier for me if I was would have packed up every single damn item and just put it all in a giant U-Haul and hold it down there. Because then I wouldn't have to worry about um, what I'm leaving, what I'm taking this trip, what I'm taking next trip, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.